Do you live somewhere that has speed cams or red light cameras? They're contemplating adding those to Las Vegas. Listen to this next story. Sheriff Kevin McMail wants both speed cameras and red light cameras installed to help make Las Vegas a safer place to drive, he said in an interview recently. I do think we need speed cameras and I do think we need red light cameras, he said in a quote. He recently spoke about the cameras as he discussed issues around traffic safety in the Metropolitan Police Department's jurisdiction in 2023, as well as ways to help foster a safer driving environment. He recently said in a quote, the reality of it is that I could put four times the amount of officers that I have right now on motorcycles doing traffic offenses and it would still have no impact at all. It just won't, he recently said adding that using technology effectively is going to be one of the ways that makes for more successful law enforcement. But Nevada law prohibits such cameras unless law enforcement is present. As such, the standalone red light and speed cameras that are seen in other states across the country are not used in Nevada because it would be unconstitutional. According to Metro's statistics, there were 156 fatalities from crashes in 2023 up from 153 in 2022, so three more fatalities. There were 150 total fatal crashes, edging 2022's total of 149. Do I think we should have safety cameras, he was asked? The answer is absolutely yes. But if such cameras are ever to be installed on Nevada's roads, the law will have to be changed, as we covered earlier. There have been regular and numerous efforts to do so when the Nevada legislature meets every two years, but so far to no avail. The critics of such cameras have their complaints as well. Among those are the camera's effectiveness and constitutionality. Let us know what you think. I can probably guess most people are not gonna be a big fan of this. Speed cameras and red light cameras, I can say as a defense attorney, I myself, I'm not a big fan of something like this. I don't think the cameras can be super accurate, and I think there's a whole whole world of legal constitutionality we have to worry about, uh, of taking pictures with an unmanned camera. You know, we don't know who's driving the car and all that stuff. Let us know what you think. Like I said, I can pretty much predict how this one's gonna go. Comment below.